Tyler Knight here representing thewildgeese.com. I'm here at the TIFF Bell Lightbox and I'm here with John Galway. Well, this is uh, our second full festival. Uh, three years ago, we had a fundraising screening uh, of the Yellow Bittern, and last year we had a full film festival, but this year it's really grown. We are two days and uh, some Canadian premieres of dramas, parks. Uh, we brought Sensation back that was at TIFF, documentaries, and a short film program that highlights young Irish filmmakers, and a program that has two films from Canadian uh, Irish filmmakers, kind of reaching out to the younger crowd that have come over from Ireland. My name is Barbara Degnan and I'm the director, co-director with Kian McDevitt of a short film called Diaspora. We were supported by the Toronto Irish Film Festival, so I'm, I programmed the shorts this year. And the one thing we felt we were missing was something that really gave a voice to the new arrivals that had just landed in Toronto from Ireland. We had six weeks left until the fest festival was due to happen, so we said, well, why don't we go and just meet those people? and make a little short, so that's what we did. And so we just asked them questions about, you know, their experience in Toronto, how long they've been here, just all about their fears and hopes. My name's Eleanor McGraw, and I'm an emerging filmmaker. I don't say young because I have entered this industry midlife, meaning I'll be 47 this April. And I was a uh, fundraiser for 15 years and then a stockbroker with Dominion Securities. And in 2009, I realized this wasn't for me and I bought myself a camera and set out on a journey to make a film. The first one being Canada and Irish Story and this is my second film, Alive from the Divas Flats. It features someone who was in that first film, Hugo Strani, and I had no idea what was going to evolve from this second film and here we are. It uh, thankfully has some merit for people and at the same time it tells a very personal story that needed to be told. Well, we're at the post party after the world premiere of A Life from the Divis Flats. Uh, Eleanor came to me after her first movie and wanted to shoot. Someone told her I looked like an interesting character. I trusted her 100%. After about six, seven months, I I had to ask her, Eleanor, what's this movie about? She said, it's really about you and you know how hard you work. One morning, after a real late night, she left the camera on in the studio, asked me where I came from, where I lived, and the rest is history. The movie then took a complete 180 degrees. She wanted to know about any other people who came to the Divis Flats in the Toronto GTA area. I told her there's no one. I got her in touch with a, an old school friend, Jim Geddes. She got to talk to Jim. After hearing Jim's story, she was kind of overwhelmed. And then she said that the movie's taking another life now. Thanks to Eleanor, to Jim, to Stephen. The movie for me is about the journey, the journey of living in Canada. I was born in a great country. I live in a great country. That's what I want to say. So that's, uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of overwhelmed at the moment. Uh, I'm glad everybody liked it. Uh, I think Eleanor, I trusted Eleanor and I'm, uh, I think she did a wonderful job. And thanks to Ivan, the, the editor. I never knew there was such a thing as the Toronto Irish Film Festival until probably December last year, just a few months ago. Eleanor asked me to be involved with her documentary. I, I said, absolutely, no problem. I'm familiar with Eleanor's previous work, Canada, and I'm also featured in the book that she wrote about that, that story to be told about Irish immigrants. This uh, experience for me personally is, is incredible. I mean, I, I, I've never, I'm absolutely no involvement in the arts, entertainment, or any kind of media whatsoever. I'm in the business world. Being involved with this and being exposed to it is a first experience for me. I think that this thing's going to get, get, you know, really grow because there's a huge Irish, Northern Irish, Southern Irish population in Canada and in the United States. And so I think this is only going to get great and bigger. And I think we're going to have far more in-depth documentaries and films and movies made from an Irish, Northern Irish perspective. My family's from Belfast. And on the opening night, I felt like I was going a little bit back to uh, those roots that I never really experienced. That was good. Uh, today, especially with sensation, I thought, okay, this is bringing me into the present in Ireland. Yeah, and, and my, my, my whole feeling about the whole festival is it is from Ireland, it isn't from somewhere else. Uh, and I hope they just keep coming back and they just keep 
that Irish voice growing here in Canada.